Hi everyone, this is Christian Knife Guy. Got a unique knife here for you. And the original case box, pretty good shape. Of course your label's been faded, but you can barely make it out what it is. The lighting is poor here, sorry about that. Centennial. Pocket knife, I don't know if we can make it out. There's the number. That's about all you're gonna make out on it. It doesn't have the original tissue. It has the original paperwork come in the box. That's also in the box. It doesn't have the original tissue, but I wrapped it in some other tissue to keep it safe because this is a uh, red bone. Dog Leg Trapper. Let me see if I can get better lighting. Make my camera focus a little bit better. That's better. A little bit better. Yeah, this is a uh, red bone dog leg trapper. A 1989 dog leg trapper. This is in immaculate condition. Um, you got some smudges on the bolsters. Pretty much wiped clean with like a microfiber and some case paste and back here no rust all the way through smooth finish no cracks in the bone the shield is flesh so it's not raised where it's popped out and some of the glued it back in Beautiful red bone. It's not like the old style red bone. What do they call this? A switch blade. Beautiful polish. You can kind of see the reflection of my iPhone in there. Needs a good wipe down with case paste. Great half stop, great snap. Great half stop there, what does it say on here? Case double X tested, Centennial, 1989, or 1889 to 1989. And that's what it says on the tank stamp. Can't see it. Gotta can never see it on the tank stamp unless you do the half stop. Great snap on that one. <clears throat> we'll talk about this knife for a little bit. Um, the practical practical usage of this knife is not a user um, you would use a trapper a normal trapper this one right here it's a uh, pretty wide at the front pretty small at the back so with heavy heavy use or trying to cut something or what you would use a knife for you would most likely snap this off back here where it's smaller so that would be an issue And on the back of this one, you got a wide belly right here. Pretty stout back here, more stout back here than it is on the other one. But you same principle, you're still putting more towards the front, less back here. You could snap it. So this has not been used. 
it's pretty much new. A knife is new unless it's been resharpened or got scratches on the blades where it's been used. These are more of collectors, collector knives. The Centennial knives are collector knives. They're not much of something that somebody would use. It's not that... There's quite a few knives that are more for collectors. Uh, I would say like your, um, your elephant toe or your sunfish. Those are those are more of a collector, not really a user. Your muskrats, your stockmans, your trappers, many trappers, um, sod busters. Maybe your whittlers. Pen knives, Barlow's, those are more of your users. Um, I'm on the fence on a Congress. I just don't see the usage of it a whole lot. And even like a Texas toothpick, I don't really see the usage of it a lot. It's a really small knife. I feel like a, a pen knife will be a bit more practical or even like a, uh, a jackknife. So you got a small blade and a big blade. Things like that are, are collectors. It's the same with the uh, dog leg trapper. It's more of just a collector's knife to have and put up. Um, let's talk about the bone. The bone is a typical bone that they're that they use in most of their other knives. They just dye it red. Um, it's not even this deep red that I like, but it is a beautiful, even color which is odd, most most dyes take a little bit darker in certain bone. This one seems to be pretty uniform, where one side kind of matches the other one somewhat. Get your lighter spots up in here and your darker spots in the middle, and the same over here. So they did pretty good. But that is the uh, 1989 Centennial case dog leg trapper um this is christian knife guy till next time guys don't cut yourselves